cars. A group of employees was recognized today at a pat factory near Pottsville after they helped save a co-worker's life when he had a heart attack on the job. Newswatch 16's Carmela Mataloni was at that ceremony. She's live from the newsroom with more on the story. Carmela. John and Julie, that group of employees from Hexel Corporation in St. Clair told Newswatch 16 it was a team effort to make sure their co-worker, Craig Hefner, stayed alive after he was found unresponsive on the factory floor back in October. Craig, who was at today's ceremony, says he's grateful for for his quick thinking co-workers. Craig Hepner says he's happy to be alive. Back on October 14th, this employee from Hexel Corporation near Pottsville was just about to wrap up his shift when everything went dark. I took a cardiac arrest uh, right near the end of my shift. I don't remember the day at all. I don't remember anything that whole day. Craig was found unresponsive by a co-worker on the factory floor. That co-worker yelled for help and three other employees came through. Those who helped were recognized by the company at a survivor's program. Robert Steiff was the employee who gave Craig life-saving CPR. Employee from the floor asked me if I knew CPR, which I do know from being here, we got trained. So I responded and we did find Craig collapsed on the floor. and. It's one of those things where when you're going through the training, you don't think you'll ever use it, but it was there, and I'm thankful that we had the training because it, it obviously worked. Paramedics tell Newswatch 16 not only were employees working inside, but there were also a few outside guiding ambulances in so they could get to Craig. They had people right at the ambulance. They helped us carry our equipment in, um, the litters, everything. Jason Sterner was the responding paramedic, but for him, he was going to more than just a patient. He was going to help a friend. He and Craig have been friends for decades. I've, I've helped people that I know, but I've never had a situation like this with a friend um, that it was this bad of a situation and it to come out this well. There's not enough thanks. There's not enough thanks to do that for someone. You don't think about it, that it would ever happen to you. And then when it does, you're, you're grateful that there's people around to do it and take care of it. He is hoping to return back to work on Monday, but his road to recovery isn't over just yet. He is scheduled to have heart valve surgery in February. Carmel Madaloni, Newswatch 16, live in the newsroom. You can tell he is very.